If you are visiting our channel for the first time, please subscribe first to get the basic and advanced maths concepts. Hello everyone. Today we will learn how you can find the different kind of logarithmic functions with the base a as well as with the base e. Now there are two types of logarithmic function. One is the logarithmic function with base a and the other is the logarithmic function with base e. Now their derivatives differ. Let's see what are their already calculated derivatives and how you can find the derivatives if you are given with the functions like this. So the already cal calculated derivative of the function that is log a log of a of x is equals to 1 divided by x into natural log of a. So this is the deriv already calculated derivative of the fu logarithmic function with base a. Now in case the base is e, so this base e function is the same as the natural log of function. Natural log function y is equal to natural log of x. So it can so we can, we have to find the derivative of natural log of x dy by dx of natural log of x is 1 divided by x. So this is the derivative of the function with the base e. So keep this in mind this difference between the both the logarithmic function. So whenever you came across the functions with the two bases, you should know. What are their already calculated derivatives? Now, using these derivatives, we can find the, the derivative of the any function involving the log, log as below. Let's find it. Let's have an example. If you will be asked to find the derivative of y is equals to log 4 of x, how you will find it? It's one method is. You can find it as, as you, this uh, function can also be written as y is equals to natural log of x, this x divided by natural log of 4, this 4. After writing this, we can find its derivative as dy by dx is equal to d by dx of natural log of x divided by natural log of 4. Now keep this in mind that natural log of 4 is constant so if we take it out natural log of 4 came out and we need to take the derivative of natural log of x that is 1 divided by x. Natural log of x is 1 over x. So the, we have got the derivative as 1 over x into natural log of 4 of the given function. So this is how you can find the derivative of the functions with the base with the different base. Now what about the derivative of the functions with base e. So keep this in mind. These are the functions that is y is equal to y is equal to natural log of x. So ne you need to take its derivative as dy by dx is equal to d by dx of natural log of x. So the derivative of natural log, log of x is 1 divided by x. These are the different simple examples. Let's have some complex examples so that you can easily understand how to solve the um, uh, logarithmic function. So example of logarithmic function with base a is f of x is equals to log of with the log with the base 10 and the function is 4x square minus 3x minus 5. Now let's see how you can find its derivative. So it can also be written as y is equals to log of 10 into 4x square minus 3x minus 5 and dy by dx of d by dx of log of 10 and I will write the other function separately as 4x square minus 3x minus 5. So you it will be helpful in your understanding. So dy by dx is equals to what you have to do. You have to write it into a form that is d by dx of natural log of 4x square minus 3x minus 5 divided by natural log of 10. So what I have done here? As we know that from the question that this is equals to x and this is equals to a log a of x. So it can all as we have already seen that while finding its derivative we can also write this in a form that is natural log of x divided by natural log of a. So 
So same thing has happened here that I have written natural log of x that is 4x square minus 3x minus 5 and divided by natural log of 10 that is the base a. So now we can find its derivative as dy by dx is equals to as natural log of 10 is the constant so we take it out as natural log of 10 here and we need to take the derivative of natural log of 4x square minus 3x minus 5. So we will further simplify it as 1 divided by natural log of 10 is here and the derivative of natural log of x is 1 over x. But here we have not x but, a, but a multiple terms so we can find its derivative as first I will write 1 divided by natural log of x is 1 over x so 1 divided by 4x square minus 3x minus 5 and then you need to take the derivative of this function again this 4x square minus 3x minus 5 so its answer will be the derivative of uh, first I will write 1 over natural log of 10 as it is dot 1 over 4x square minus 3x minus 5 as it is and the derivative of 4x square minus 3x minus 5 is derivative of 4x square is 8x by using the power rule 3x uh, uh, derivative of 3x is 3 and the derivative of 5 is 0. So this is the derivative of the given function with base a. So keep this in mind that you have to follow these steps in order to find the derivative of such functions. Now what about the derivative of uh, function with base e? Let's have an example. f of x is equals to now base e is the uh, um, as we know that log of e of x. This is the base e function. So this is ca called a natural log and we can also write it as f of x is equal to natural log of x. So we have to consider the function with the natural log. You will came across the function where you came across, where, where there will, it will be written as natural log of x rather than log e of x. So let's see how, let's see how you can find the derivative. You came across the function as f of x equals to natural log of x cube plus 3. So its derivative will be, let's find it out, dy by dx is equals to d by dx of natural log of x cube plus 3. So as we know that the derivative of natural log of x is 1 over x. So I write 1 over x here is x cube plus 3. So x cube plus 3. So you have to take the derivative of this function as well as we have not here the, only the x. So x cube plus 3 derivative is required. So dy by dx is equal to the derivative of x cube is 3x square and the derivative of 3 is 0. So it will become x cube plus 3. So this is the derivative of the given function with base e or the natural log function whenever you came across the functions like this. So that's all from today's lecture. It will help you a lot in understanding how you can find the derivative of the functions with the base a and base e. Thank you. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe our channel math.com for more updates. Thank you.